Hey everyone, welcome back to Sketch Diary. So today we are drawing Raticate, and I hope you all enjoy. This one was a lot of fun to do. So for this video, I wanted to talk about a game that I have been watching a lot of people let's play. And I'm sure you have seen this if you've been anywhere near YouTube or own a PlayStation 4 at all. And um, that game is Until Dawn. And if you don't, if you don't want to be spoiled for this game, uh, it might be better to just skip this diary just because I'm not sure if I'm going to spoil anything. So just to be safe, I'm just going to go ahead and say this warning and that I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to discuss. So um, keep that in mind. If you don't want to be spoiled, uh, I would suggest watching another video. But, uh, yeah, with all of that in mind, uh, let's talk about the plot. So, Until Dawn is essentially a game that takes place at a cabin. Uh, eight people are going there for their annual getaway. And um, it's your typical uh, Cabin in the Woods type plot. In fact, it reminded me a lot of Cabin in the Woods. with Just with um, how self-aware it was of the horror tropes that it was putting out. Of course, if you know Cabin in the Woods, then you'll kind of understand the tone that uh, this game has. Though I would argue this game, probably towards the end, does kind of turn more into a survival horror game as opposed to a slasher movie type thing, which is what it starts out as. Um, but I I find that really fun in a game. like. This this is actually one of the first games we've seen that has kind of taken a genre a mo a genre a um a type of movie and kind of translated it pretty successfully into a game and um whether or not you agree with the um theory of the butterfly effect I do like the idea that any small decision that you make could sort of result in life or death and that has shown with a lot of the characters um one critique i did have of the game is there are eight characters and this is something like a 10 hour game so you don't get a lot of time with each character you're kind of just seeing how they react to every scenario and um that can kind of be hurtful to the story because a lot of the setup involves you kind of figuring out who these people are and the game kind of tries to help you along with that when when a character is introduced they will show um, sort of a quick description of the character there will be three words that describes them and you can pause and see their um, statistics for what their personality kind of makes up of whether they're very charitable whether they're honest um, I thought that was a cool thing to look at, even though I did feel that um, those mechanics didn't play into the game as much as I would have hoped. Uh, it definitely needed to be a longer game if it was going to go farther into the people, which to me would have made a phenomenal game if they would have um, taken the time to do that. But I could understand if they wanted if they wanted limitations, if they wanted to keep this as a short 10-hour um, adventure, which would make sense if they are trying to go sort of until dawn, you know, it doesn't really make sense for it to go longer than what it would actually be in the game. But, um, yeah, I, I just feel like we needed more time with these characters. Like, I, I would have loved to see more of them reacting not so much fighting but if we had had that contrast um, th there was a lot of the um, environment effects kind of stayed the same throughout the entire game and that was that was a bit of a critique of mine um, we never really see the the environment go from warm and inviting to cold and blue it's it starts off as this very dark cabin. In fact, when when I first was watching uh, people let's play the game, I thought it was a little strange that they hadn't. It felt like they didn't turn any lights on, and um, 
maybe maybe that's playing into the horror tropeness of uh, people kind of not being very smart in these movies and uh, kind of walking around those. But I do feel that there's little things that they could have done better. That is something that uh, when you when you add that contrast, it feels that much scarier when you are attempting to give people that feeling of being lonely down in the mines when you're playing as Emily or when uh, Matt falls down and the the tower is falling and um, I'm trying to make sure that I get all their names right but yeah it's it's tough because I I feel that I really wanted to know these characters I really wanted to know more about them and in a way uh, it played off of their backstories in the same way that horror movies do and while I feel that that's that's okay for where it was coming from um, the game could have been much stronger if we knew more about them. So uh, with that, I think that a wonderful addition to the game was the uh, psychiatrist. I thought that was really neat because it's it's a very self-aware part of the game. And I really loved that in the beginning you kind of think that he's talking to you. And you kind of feel like uh, the parts of the game that take place in the cabin are not real they don't feel real and to me that is really neat that it sort of plays into it and when you find out that there's a reveal and um, I hope that if you don't want to be spoiled you've already clicked away uh, I'm about to say a spoiler right now but um, yeah when you find the reveal that it's Josh that's being talked to and that he is unable to see the difference between reality and fantasy it's it's kind of a critique of the player and I thought that that was really cool because you're first under the impression when you start the game that the psychiatrist is the real part of the game and you feel like those are that maybe the horror story is either something memories that you're telling or it's um, a horror simulation because the psychiatrist does ask, you know, what do you fear? What what scares you the most? What do you dislike the most? Uh, who do you like the most? I thought that part was really interesting because um, one thing one thing that I noticed a lot of people seem to sort of gravitate towards the same characters in this game in terms of disliking them. And let me be clear no one in this game comes out looking like the perfect person. I feel like maybe the closest would be Sam, but she is your, you know, she she is your very much your reasonable, cautious, like probably what most people feel like they would act like in a horror story. Um, but even she will make uh, random decisions like walking around the house in a bath towel like you know th that kind of stuff it it feels it feels like they're really playing on those horror tropes and no character comes out of this looking like they handled it correctly but um it's very interesting because I see a lot of people kind of uh, disliking one of the characters that I actually ended up liking the most and that was Emily and um, I feel that a lot of people really disliked Emily because uh, she kind of comes into the, uh, when you look at the horror tropes, she is the quote-unquote bitch trope. She is supposed to be the, the mean, the mean one, the demanding one, but um, it's, it's tough because I, I don't overly feel like what she what she is complaining about throughout the game is necessarily unjustified because when we when we continue um, experiencing all of this I think what's very interesting is that each character reacts to the horrors in a different way um, when you look at Mike he gets an adrenaline pump he he kind of tries to be more of the hero and do all this stuff um, Ashley starts to panic and get anxious and doesn't know what to do. Um, Chris becomes detached. He's super detached. He, you know, he'll 
he'll try to just move on. When you when a traumatic event happens to him, he'll just be like, well, I, I just need to move on. We just need to keep going. And then, um, trying to remember all of the different characters, but uh, Matt, Matt gets very um, indecisive, kind of frozen in the moment. He's He has a huge lack of confidence going on. Um, and then Sam, Sam is probably the, the most cool under pressure. Um, I, I didn't overly notice her necessarily, um, panicking as much as the others, but then Emily's way of dealing with things was to loudly complain, but what people, what a lot of people seemed to, uh, get mad at her for was that complaining, and I thought that that was very interesting. Because uh, when it comes to her actions, it felt that when she fell into the mines and she fell and um, had to make her way out. And she actually has, I think, four possible death scenes. And uh, one of them is gruesome. I can't, I can't even, like, it's insane. But, yeah, I, you guys can look that up if you want to see them. But, oh man, those... Those are horrible to watch, but no, it it's I find that very interesting because her character she has a very big arc that kind of goes through um that kind of goes through a lot of changes where you know she when it comes down to it she will get things done she she um she works through things immediately and takes action. Which is why I, I actually felt like I ended up having a lot of respect for the character by the end. And um, I feel like the game kind of is self-aware in that it tries to sort of manipulate you into liking certain characters and disliking other characters and being like, well, this is the, this is the complaining one, this is the, this is the nice one, this is the nerd, this is the jock, you know, uh, that kind of thing. But... I think it's what's the, been the most interesting is seeing how people are reacting to this and who um, who they end up gravitating towards and who who they end up disliking the most because I have actually seen people say that uh, certain characters deserve to die which I think is really strange because I don't even it, it's strange to me that people that people can sort of have that level of opinion where they believe that you know I choose to let you live and I choose to let you die and that's kind of terrifying when you think about it but um, I think that's why I find this game so fascinating and I really hope that it's it's opened the door to other games like it so uh, yeah with all of that said uh, that is my general opinion of the game uh, I know it's probably all over the place and such but I've I've been having a blast watching other people play it. I've had thoughts to play it myself, but I might I might just be too scared. But uh yeah. So I think I will go ahead and wrap up this video now. Thank you all for watching and uh have a wonderful day, night, afternoon wherever you are. And uh yeah, thank you all for listening and watching.